Welcome to Geneva and WISIS 2022, and I'm very pleased to say I'm joined by Mike Hodin, who's the CEO of the Global Coalition on Aging. Welcome, Mike. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you for having us. Nice Mike, to see you. lovely to see you too. Tell <coughs> us about the coalition. Well, thank you. So we formed the Global Coalition on Aging about 10 or 11 years ago. Uh, I'm based out of New York, but our, uh, we operate globally, uh, including all across Europe. Uh, we are a group of about 20 global companies, cross-sector, uh, technology, healthcare and pharma, elder care, financial services, consumer, who are committed to helping people in the world achieve a healthier aging. Which is a very important thing. And how did you become involved with WISIS and its aims and objectives? Yeah. So, one of the things uh, we undertook, which was about two and a half years ago now, was something we called the Silver Economy Forum, uh, which we held in uh, Helsinki, Finland, in collaboration with the Finnish government at the time that was assuming their EU presidency, where aging was their theme. And one of the groups that came as part of the whole UN system uh, was ITU and WISIS. And so they started talking to us about creating what would be, for the first time, uh, a track on older persons, the official term that the UN uses. Uh, it very much aligned with the beginning of what has now become the decade of healthy aging, part of the Sustainable Development Goals. And what are the <coughs> opportunities and challenges that information and communication technology present for older people and aging populations? Well, I, I love the way you put it, uh, and I would in some ways challenge it um, because same is for everyone. <laughs> uh, I guess one of the differences, obviously, is that if you are 60 or 70 or 80, you're unlikely to have had the life experience. In fact, pretty certainly you will not have had the life experience with digital technology as our children and grandchildren have. Um, on the other hand, there's today's 70 year old, you know, probably had a Blackberry when they were working uh, 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, but there's no question that like with everyone else and society generally, digital technology can enable a better life, uh, a healthier life, a more active life, a more fun and a happier life and focused on uh, older persons, as the UN calls us, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, gives us a particular lever for that. Uh, it, it's one that we hear the digital divide, and generally the digital divide, for good reason, refers to uh, those in perhaps rich OECD countries, like Switzerland, where we are here, uh, in Geneva, versus perhaps a poor country, uh, let's say in Southern Africa or parts of Latin America. Uh, but the digital divide is also there from the standpoint of age demography. So it is true that a 70 or 80 year old may not be as much, ha have as much facility uh, with digital technology as a 25 or a 35 year old. But it's also true that digital technology generally has not been applied to help the needs and the opportunities of growing old, particularly in the health and financial arena. Uh, both sectors uh, are ones that we think of uh, huge enablers uh, through uh, better application of digital technology. And uh, it's certainly uh, one that uh, has been used as one is younger, but uh, as, as one ages, uh, we now look to WISIS to help us advance the, the progress in that area as well. Mike, thank you very mm -hmm. much indeed for joining us. Thank you.